Was this more about oh. good Arizona or bad Tennessee, Michael? Oh, my God. I, listen, I, 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 Tennessee did play bad, but I think this was more about Arizona and, and more in particularly about that guy we just talked about because you could see the levels that he's starting to take and take control of a football game. I mean, I, 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 when, he first, when we first started watching Kyler Murray, I said, oh, look, look at his feet. You know, you watch his feet because he's so quick. He's so quick. I mean, he's like Lamar Jackson in that sense where he can give you fits with his feet. Mm -hmm. But, man, then he's turning around throwing the ball mm -hmm. like he's throwing the ball. Mm -hmm. He's giving you the combination of Lamar Jackson and, and, and then Patrick Mahomes, which is a dangerous combination. And then he has, of course, DeAndre Hopkins out there that can throw any, catch anything you, you throw anywhere in the area code. He's answering that call. And, I, and I'm telling you something, man, it's, this team right here is a surprise. We don't give them credit because there is such a tough division. Mm -hmm. They go up against the 49ers. Mm -hmm. They go up against the Rams. They go up against that, that beast, Russell Wilson. But this team right here is for real, and this was about the Arizona Cardinals. Well, let me say this to you. Your answer is wrong. Your explanation is, is, is easily stomached. You're wrong when you talk about the, Aaron, it's the Arizona Cardinals because it was really about Kyler Murray. It was really about that. Nobody else who Arizona. For? Listen, it was really about it was really about Kyler Murray. All right, just just him. If you want to talk defensively, Chandler Jones, five sacks. It is what it is. Oof. But we got to get to the Tennessee Titans. I don't know how you can walk away, not really, really putting an eye on how disappointing Tennessee was. This is a team that everybody looked at coming out of the AFC South. You got Ryan Tannehill. You got Derrick Henry. You still got A.J. Brown. You picked up Julio Jones. He no. gives you about three receptions for 29 yards. I think, what did uh, uh, A.J. Brown have, like four receptions, like 49 yards right. or something along that line? So you weren't running the football effectively. Your damn sure wasn't passing the football effectively. You certainly wasn't protecting Ryan Tannehill effectively enough. And then on the defensive side of the ball, you got this miniature dynamo in Kyler Murray, who's just, I mean, he's cat quick. He was cat making quick. defenders look silly. We get all of that. All I'm saying is, is that when we look at Arizona, maybe we're underestimating them a little bit. I have an appreciation for what they're bringing to the table. Please don't get me wrong. When I look at the NFC West, obviously it's toughest division: San Francisco, L.A., Seattle, and now Arizona. But what I walked away feeling was like, damn, I expected better than this from Tennessee. Maybe you would have lost. But to look like you got pumped, beat up, giving up five sacks like that to one individual, can't run the football, can't throw the football, I did not expect all of that to well, happen to Tennessee, and that's why well, you were wrong that. because you believed in Ryan Tannehill. <laughs> I can end that with that right here. Yeah, I, I, you're wrong, and you're right, which is disappointing because I Thank had this you. whole plan to come on and be Thank like, you. wait, but, I grew up watching Mike Blurk uh, ball, I, I, but I was going to be like, uh, and I respect uh, you, uh, but now you're in a little I bit of the world of dominance, one of so I was throwing haymakers. Uh, so we're brothers now, right? You're wrong. We're brotherhood. We're right. Go ahead. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. This is why. Go ahead. I walk away from that game going, man, Arizona doesn't look like a playoff team. They look like a team that can win a Super Bowl. Okay. They look like a championship team because if if we look at the teams and go, who or what do you need to be a, a Super Bowl winning football team? You better have a quarterback that's special. Well, year three for Kyler Murray looks like the start of year three for Josh Allen right. last year. Okay. Special. You got to have a de defense that could be opportunistic. They don't got to sure. be dominant, but they opportunistic. They can get to the quarterback. Sure. Chandler sure. Jones get looks to the quarterback. dominant and opportunistic. You got to have pieces, right? Okay. Yep. DeAndre Hopkins balled out. Christian Kirk gets the ball out. Now you got these tailbacks that can make some plays. So you got the pieces around a quarterback that looks special, a coach that's starting to maybe get it when it comes to, like, the scheme of an offense, and a defense that can get after it. I expected Tennessee to be somewhat representative of they were for the past two years, replacing a new head, or a play caller. I get all that. Right, right, right. But when I watched that game yesterday, I go, that doesn't look like a team that might contend in their division. That looks like a team, if they continue to play like that, and that quarterback is that unstoppable – they look like a team that can represent the NFC and go to the Super Bowl. That's what it says to me way more about Arizona than Tennessee just didn't play well. Well, look, this is the thing that – see, I love it. This and, is cute. y'all over this, this, Tennessee. Uh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Go, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. This is what the cute part is about the, the NFL family and stuff like that. I don't because, start that. Don't this, start this, that because you're wrong. wrong. No, 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 I'm not wrong. wrong. I'm not wrong. Do I look like don't I think I'm wrong? I'm not wrong. Me and Mike are the same guy. There you go. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I'm looking at Arizona, and we know what we're going to say. And we got to remember, I'm watching you on NFL Live. I'm watching you every weekend on the NFL. I'm looking at y'all. I'm going like this. Okay. I'm going to watch in three days. Three days. I'm going to give it three days. Dan Olaski's going to be on TV. 
Well, now we have to see what they do against Seattle and Los Angeles and San Francisco. Because right. they look the part, right. but we got to see. We have We don't see enough. I'm so, talking about, okay, so if you got to do that, you're still unsure. They look better yesterday. And I'm saying why they looked as good as they looked may very well be a product of what Tennessee wasn't compared to what they were supposed to be. You ain't supposed to look like that. You got to be able to run the football a little bit. You got to have Julio Jones and A.J. Brown. You can't look like that in your passing game. You can't have an offensive line oh, that gives up five sacks to Chandler Jones and they're going to come to me and go like this. Well, Tennessee just had a bad game. Really? No, I said they that's played all. They, they, they just had they a bad game. They called a bad game. They called a Expe bad game. Your expectations were different than game. my expectations, right. Stephen okay. A. Okay. I expected regression from this offense because you usually can't continue to produce in the run game like Henry has. You Correct. lost one of the best play callers in the NFL who's now a head coach. You lost your tight end pieces in Jonu Smith. So I expected some regression. What I wanted to see from an Arizona team was like, show me that you can do it. Mm -hmm. And that was domination. And I will go back to it. Remember when Lamar bursted onto the scene and we're like, yes. uh-oh, this yeah. team looks right, right, different. Right, right. Yes. It looked like that. Remember Josh Allen, week one. I went on television in week one last year and said, Josh Allen's going to be in the MVP conversation. Kyle Murray's going to be in the MVP for and conversation. Right. And, and you have domination in this league a couple ways. Now, you can have it with a, 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 a big running back like Derrick Henry. You dominate. Or you can have it with... I don't know what this dude going to hit us with. And you don't know what Kyler Murray Quite can hit you with. And that gives him an incredible upper no, hand. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's no disputing that. I'm not arguing that. Are you two sitting here with a straight face on national television in front of the camera? Okay. You're telling me that with Julio Jones and A.J. Brown, y'all had no expectations from their passing game? I have no saying? expectations. Well, I, I expected you regression. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.